Good Wednesday, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July holiday weekend and that we are uh, ready to uh, hit the work again today. <laughs> Look at our weather app for today. We see lots of unsettled weather once again across much of the U.S., especially the eastern half of the U.S. And we also see strong to severe thunderstorms threatening portions of Colorado, stretching down into Oklahoma, up through Missouri, and then back up towards Chicago. So those folks will have a weather-aware day for sure. Um, it had originally looked like that we would have a threat for severe weather today, but that threat has diminished somewhat, especially with this morning activity that we have coming through, um, helping stabilize the atmosphere. Look at our five-day forecast, 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms each day going right on through Sunday. Overnight, rain chances drop down for the most part until we get to about the weekend, and then Saturday and Sunday night still looks like 50% chances even in the overnight hours. The so rain chances will keep high temperatures down, highs only in the low 80s. Overnight lows, yeah, very humid, low to mid 60s. In fact, it'll be warm and humid every day, and that's what will help kick off these showers and thunderstorms along with a series of disturbances that'll be coming through. So it's a, a little bit of a nuisance when making outdoor plans, but uh, believe it or not, we're still, some, some folks are still at a little bit of a deficit uh, for some rainfall, but uh, we need to be careful not to turn too dry um, in the summertime, that is for sure, especially in June. We don't want to be, or in July now, right? We don't want to be too too dry when we go into August and September because those can be some drier months for sure. Um, but uh, anyway, it is a nuisance, but uh, just if you have outdoor plans, don't cancel them this week. Just keep an eye on the radar and just take it day by day and see how things are going. But um, if you do have those outdoor plans, keep an eye on the radar, keep an eye on the sky, and make sure you have um, a good shelter that you can get into um, quickly if needed. This is rainfall totals from yesterday, and um, it might be a little hard to see here, but you can see eastern Cumberland County, eastern and southern Cumberland County, um, were the winners yesterday with rainfall and down around Spring City. Um, so uh, if you could zoom in, I should have zoomed in on this a little bit more, but if you could zoom in, there's an area like right there in eastern Cumberland County that looks like got you know, anywhere from two to three, maybe even three and a quarter inches of rain. Um, and, and here we are in the northern and western ends of the county and didn't get a drop. Um, so, uh, but down around Spring City is also a bullseye um, for two, three inches of rain in some places. Um, so interesting situation, isn't it? Look at that, all that, all the white that you see, that's no precipitation, but then you got your little areas that get your higher totals. On this date in 1687, Isaac Newton's great work, Principia, published by Royal Society in England, outlining his laws of motion and universal gravitation. It was a big deal back then, it was a big deal now too. In 1968, Clarksville established a new record low with a reading of 47 degrees. And for those of you not familiar, Clarks Clarksville is about an hour or so northwest of Nashville. Crossville set a 50 degree low um, that morning. 50 degrees, that'd be, that's a crisp morning in July. In 1891, 16 horses were killed by hail and many more had to be put to death due to injuries from the hail storm at Rapid City, South Dakota. So ugh, that hail can be a, a big deal. It's a, it's a miracle to me that more people um, aren't hurt or killed by hell each year, but most people seem to be able to seek shelter pretty quickly um, in those types of events. Thank goodness. You folks have a wonderful Wednesday and keep looking up for even more weather information to keep up with all the crazy weather. Just keep it right here at meteorologistsmart.com.